This is how you make invisible ice. It, uh, it stays cold like regular ice, but it's pretty much invisible. First you put salt uh, on a bunch of ice, and now you're gonna take the ice, put it into uh, warm water. At this point, regular ice would just melt into the water, but because we've put the salt on it, it's not going to melt uh, so much as it's just gonna lose its, its color, that white coloration. To speed the process along, you take some uh, white vinegar, and you're gonna mix this in just a little bit. Now you get a spoon, mix it up. Uh, the cool thing is gonna come when we take this ice out, and I'm gonna put it in a glass of uh, cool water, then it, it really just looks incredible. You can see the ice is starting to lose its coloring. It, it looks like it's melting, it looks like it's getting smaller, but the, act the ice is actually the same size. I can start to show you here with a little piece. You can see there's almost two different colors where it's got the, the white on the edge and the white is just moving to one side of the ice cube, but the ice cube is pretty much staying the same size. So now I'm gonna start to uh, take these pieces out and I'll, I'll show you what they look like on the plate here. We'll start out with a, a just one here. Let me get one, well that's two. So you can see it there. You can see it better on the plate, but you can uh, also probably tell that it's softer than uh, regular ice. It's lost any sort of white uh, pigmentation and it, it has a, just a softer, more jelly-like quality, but it is just as cold. It, it actually feels a little colder than regular ice. And you can see almost all the ice has gone invisible at this point. So it, it looks like there's nothing here, but if you take the scoop up, then you can start to see some of the ice is still there. So now I'm gonna take the ice and we're gonna uh, put it in another cup here. And this is where stuff starts to get uh, really wild. So let me find a bigger uh, piece. Let's see, uh, this will do, okay. And it's, it's still cold. Uh, so here it is. Look what happens when you put it in water. It, it's almost like it goes invisible, right? but it's not invisible because I tell you, it, it's still just as cold, if not a little colder than regular ice. It's just lost all of that white hue. All of the white coloring is gone. So now, if you pluck it in there, it just looks like it's not there. And we can take more ice out, all right? And we can just put this in the cup. There it is. And as it goes in, you'll see the water level of the cup is going up. So the ice is in there, but you can't see it. Here's an empty bowl. We'll see how much of it, oh, this still has the salt in it before. So we might get a little bit of a uh, white coloration, but if we pour it in, you can see the ice as it's coming out. The ice is splashing, but then that ice, it's pretty much just gone. Except for the salt, it will go around uh, the layer there and then you can start to see the edges. Now, if we go to this bowl, I'm gonna try to show you really close up what this invisible ice looks like so you can decide if you want to make it at home or maybe you just want to show this video to someone who's who's more into this sort of thing and then they could make the uh the invisible ice but look look at this here looks like it's just water in the bowl right but look at this there is all of the invisible ice look at that Look at the shape, the texture, and then you lower it down. And it just, it looks like it's melting, but it feels as cold as ever. And it just looks like it's gone. Look at that. That is invisible ice.